Okay. There's probably a bit more bleach than there has to been, but I think it was all the me adding more stuff in kind of um kind of bulked it up. So remember when I said that this was a consistency and I wanna drip, I dripped two times and I landed on my pants. So now these pants are at least a pajama, not like work pants, so not too mad. But now I'm gonna go into the bathroom and just quickly, damn you, camera, and uh, quickly clean up this, clean up the sides, to try to save these pants. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit, and I think maybe these pants might be saved since it was on for that long. So, 30 minutes. And then we wash this off. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, and I am back from my bleaching. And as you see, well, as I see because I didn't even look in the mirror. Um, I am yellow blonde, um, and then a little bit of platinum on the ends. My hair is so to like the, the damp moistness Ugh, that word though okay so um I definitely need to put some conditioner in so I have uh three and I want to give my own opinions to them so me at Okay, me after uh, bleaching, let me just, okay, so me after bleaching my hair, I usually put a conditioner on, depending on how my hair reacts to the bleaching or um, the purple shampoo step, I always go to um, three things. Uh, there's one, do I need a deep conditioner? Like, how deep do I need the conditioner to be? How long am I going to leave that in? And... Um, to me, oh, smell is somewhat of a key, so, so I have three right here with, I have, th well, I kind of have four, but I don't have the other one, so I have the, my four, like, standards, it used to be three, but now it's four, so my three standards are, um, the well I'll leave my my choice for last. I have the hair chemist strengthening hair mask with castor oil. This um this has good smell. Like it has a smell, it's not that um it's not that strong. It's like a very neutral smell. Um, that's what it looks like. It's not the thickest, but it is a heat conditioner I would recommend for like a long time wear. Uh, definitely not a leave-in. It doesn't have that much um, good products for leave-in, but it can be used as leave-in. But I would do a like maybe a one hour with this. Um, oh, and another thing is, is this product a hair mask? This is marketed as a hair mask, but it's more like one of those hour-long masks. It's not, it's not a true hair mask. Um, this is another one, the Herbal Essence Coconut Milk. This is what I would use if I just was struggling with, um, like, dryness. This is definitely, shouldn't be used as a hair mask, but it has so much moisture in it that it can go for a long time, so I would say that this should be a hair mask, but this might be like a one, two hour. This is more of a conditioner leave-in, that's for sure. Um, and it's, it's not, not 
Okay, when I say liquidy, I don't mean like you can like dump it out like all at once, but this is like a very, very smooth, like there's no uh, texture to it. Um, it has a good smell, so that's why I say it's more of the, um, of a dry, dry, normal hair leave-in. Um, another one is, I have the, um, Infusium, which, um, would be good for... I would say like normal non-bleached hair, so it's almost in the same category as this. So, like there's hair products meant for so many different, but they're all marketed towards hair strength, hair repair. So, um, the one I am going to go to is, since we're in quarantine, as of me recording this, it's April, so... Hopefully everything gets back to freaking normal. Um, so what I need is something that is thick. I can leave it in. I can re-moisturize. Most of these products, um, when you try to re-moisturize, like give it more water to go longer, it kind of like more like breaks down into a very like greasy mess. Um, I tried it with this, which is the, the Shea Moisture Jasmine Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I don't need a full day, just uh, 8 hours should be more than enough time to give this hair somewhat moisture back. And yeah, it is yellow, and I don't mind because... Um, it's either going to be pink or purple. They're one's going to get more brighter if I leave it with the yellow. So, and then purple, which is a very dark shade. On this, shouldn't even matter. So I'm not worried about me having yellow since I'm hitting it with a dark color or a very bright color. So, so this is a very like. Like, it's like heavy, like, whipping cream kind of, like, consistency. It's more, it definitely has, like, a lot more stuff. You can definitely tell. And it's a lot more uh, creamy than all the other ones. The only, as I said before, the only reason I, I would, I would go for the... Okay. If I was going out somewhere... Would I wear this mask in my hair? Hell no. I don't want to smell like Play-Doh. But since I'm not going anywhere, I would wear this. What what hair treatment would I do? I would actually go with this. The hair strengthening from the hair chemist. I would actually go that way. Um... But since I'm not going anywhere, I'm not planning on doing anything for the next, like, eight hours. Except for doing my, um, other, other, every other day workout. And since I'm home, I don't really worry. Um, so, my hair is, like, kind of, like, straw-like. It, um, is slightly damp, and it's only been... 20-ish minutes. So the way I tell if my hair is damaged, my hair will drip dry. I don't hair dry, I don't blow dry, I don't shag it all up. Um, if my hair is um, for the most part bone dry before 30 minutes, I know my hair has some damage in it. It needs something and usually I would shampoo and condition and condition and leave that conditioner in for about 10 minutes. And that usually will last like throughout the week. I won't have to like reapply uh, that conditioner. Uh, I might have to hit my hair with some dry shampoo if I'm going out. Um, and if you want like a good like hair um, dry shampoo, I have pretty good collection, I would say. Or... 
maybe I did. I don't know. Because I, as I can see and count, I want to use three, four, four, about six. As I can see, there might be some in the back in storage. <laughs> in storage, meaning like right at my desk. But So if you guys want to see a video on that, and um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be more than glad to do. Uh, do the pros and cons of the dry shampoos that I do have. So, as I was saying, if my hair is, for the most part, um, dry and it's clumping like it is right now, like, it's, like, straw-like, has some moisture in it, and it's only been 20 minutes, I know my hair has some damage in it. Uh, by 30 minutes, it should be for the most part, dry-ish. Like, I should still be able to, like, pull out, like, a drop of water from my hair. And then if I... And then a trick I know with my hair is um, very damaged. Like, you have dry damage, and then you have more going towards the normal damage. Usually more people go towards the normal instead of the dry damage. Um, the normal damage is that your hair is trying to suck in um, as much water as it can, and that's why it gets a little mushy, a little gummy, um, a little stringy. Like, if you just, like, lightly pull your hair, a strand might come out um, with, like, no force. Um, and in that case, what you need to do is do a... We'll dry your hair off fully and do a conditioning mask and what for that I would recommend the the herbal essence uh, coconut mask or they have another one I'm gonna try out the other one once the salt over or I run out of product but I have a lot of product and stuff to go through so let me show you my process since your hair well for me if your hair is like mine and this nappy stringy um, it might go to the normal phase, but you, I know it's, like, damaged. I want to put something in there that will benefit my hair. And with hair product, more for a hair mask, you definitely want to be in the, like, $10 range. I haven't found any product that does not benefit somehow around the $10 range. So try to look for something or even ask around um, for some suggestions. The internet is not the totally good place to go to it and as I said I'm on the internet but because people can put like reviews and they only tried it once to me. I tried these stuff a bunch of times and they all work in their own category. And what you look up might be not not the thing that you should use in a way so that's why i say ask around ask hairstylists ask for suggestions um yeah so so let's get started and since your hair is dry damaged you don't want to really be roughing up your hair as much in first so in the first couple swipes, you're going to see me just start to, like, lay down it. Like, and this is all small scoops. These are not big, giant globs, like, how I apply color or anything. These are small scoops. And you'll see, like, once my hair is more combined, I'm going to put just one more bigger scoop in. And that's all. So, ready? So, we're just going to start out with just a light finger. And it's kind of like how you would apply, how you would apply any like hair product, start back to front, and then I'm gonna go with sides and everything. Okay, so ready? 